I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. Our scripture verse is taken from Psalms 107 verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure it forever. Enjoy our program. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for part two of First Kings chapter 19? Let's go. And I'm reading from verse 13. And it was so, when Elisha heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, What 
doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous of the Lord God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slay thy prophet with the sword. And I, even I only am left. And they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said unto him, Go, return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest, anoint Haziel to be king over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shall thou anoint to be the king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphath, of Abel Menhola, thou shalt anoint to be prophet in thy room. And it shall come to pass that him that escaped the sword of Haziel shall Jehu slay. And him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the, the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. So he departed thence and found Elisha, the son of Shaphath, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him. And he with the twelfth, and Elijah passed by him, and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen, and ran after Elijah, and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done to thee? And he returned back from him and took an oxen, a yoke of oxen, and slew it, or slew them, and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen, and gave unto the people, and they did eat. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Nature testify of God. Yay! Hi boys and girls, now this is a fun trip that we have made recently. Now we had visited a zoo. I am about to tell you some fun facts about the animal that we are talking about. Could you remember? If you say giraffe, you are correct. Now fun fact number one, giraffes are found in the dry savannas of Africa where they roam among the open plains and woodland. So their natural habitat is in an open plain and woodland, right? So in the safari. Giraffes are well known for their long necks. These gentle giants are the world's tallest living land animal. Did you know that boys and girls? Now, an, 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 an adult, sorry, male, can grow to around 5.5 meters. Let your mommy and daddy tell you exactly how tall that is. Now, as I have said before, they are known for their long necks. Now, these animals are very, very beautiful, don't you think? Now, in the wild, the, a giraffe's height is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. 
Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry bees from afar off too. So their necks and their heights are a privilege to them. Now, giraffes, however, they are herbivores. Now, giraffes only eat plants. Now, it sounds like they stick to the natural diet that they were created with. Praise God for that. Now, now their favorite grub is the cassia tree. And they use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in the treetops. Their long tongues, which can grow to a whooping 53 centimeters, also help them pull down leaves growing up on high wow that's amazing now you see these giraffes boys and girls they do have an appetite they spend most of their time eating and can grubble up up to 45 kilograms of leaves and twigs in a day let your mommy and daddy tell you how much food is that. Another fun fact is um, the giraffe, although they eat a lot, they do not drink much water. I hope that you boys and girls do drink sufficient water. Now it is said that this is because they get most of their water from their leaves meal or leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days wow now giraffes are very social animals and roam around in groups now these groups are called towers it made sense right typically have around 15 members led by an adult male and other members are female and young males to see who is stronger males which is called bulls fight by putting their long necks and heads this is known as necking these fights aren't usually dangerous and end when one bull admits defeat and walks away <laughs> that is awesome not the fight boys and girls just how they communicate now our final fun fact is the female giraffes give birth standing up the result newborn are welcome to the world within a 1.5 meter drop to the ground Boop. ouch but these infants are quick to get to their feet within 30 minutes they are standing and only hours later they are able to run with their mothers <laughs> totally different from the human baby right but they are wonderful the same boys and girls continue to learn about giraffes i know this is one of my favorite animals
Hi boys and girls, I want to tell you a story. Now this story is when I was a little girl. So for a character building story, we are looking at unity. I remember when I was a little girl and my mother took us, my sibling and I, to a beach in Karanaj. Now while we were there, I end up making a friend and you know how children make friends so quickly and it was a little girl and both of us were bathing in the beach and having so much fun because you know children love to bathe and splash and run and jump and do all sorts of things while they are bathing on the beach just like what we are doing here now but then for some reason my friend and I end up in a position where we couldn't touch the bottom of the sea and that is why it's so important boys and girls when you go to the beach to stay close to your parents okay stay close to your parents and then touching the bottom because I was a little girl and I was short instead of uniting with my friend to try to get out of the situation because we I felt like I was drawing instead of helping or uniting I end up holding on to that little girl's head and began to even drown her even more and while I was doing that I was trying to call out for my mother mommy I was so far from her and then while I continue I'm um, calling out all I can remember was my foot could touch the bottom of the sea and I I was kind of gapping and I went on the shore and I sat down there thinking what just had happened now while I was panicking boys and girls I could have drunk that little girl and that is why unity is so important and you can see this being exemplified even at school when we meet someone instead of we unite to do the right thing we oftentimes push one another down in order to save our own lives or to look good in front of our peers but God wants us to unite even in difficulty God wants us to unite may have your siblings either you have a brother or sister or both and sometimes you may find yourself trampling upon them or, or siding with someone else in, in trying to condemn them in a situation but God wants us to unite okay boys and girls so don't do like your auntie and push your friend down but try helping your friend and in helping your friend you will actually help yourself and both of you will be better little boys and girls. So I pray that this character building story gives brings encouragement not only to you who are watching, but share it with your mommy and your daddy. That we will all unite and even hasten in the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye boys and girls. Let everything die the alone.
mummies and daddies and aunties glad to be in Sabbath school this morning. You're going to worship Jesus. Right? So before we do so, we are going to pray. Talk to Jesus. Prayer is talking to Jesus as he talked to a friend. So let's pray. But before we pray, let us do our exercise. I love God's house. I love his day. I love to sing. I love to pray. I love to hear the stories true that Jesus gave to me and you. Okay? So the first song we want to sing this morning is to greet each other. For we have not seen, some of us have not seen each other for the whole week. So we are going to sing, Good morning to you, good morning to you, how are you today? Good morning to you, good morning to you, how are you today? Good morning to you, good morning to you, this happy Sabbath day. And what time should we be in, in our school? <coughs> school? At 10 o'clock. So let's get our TikTok sticks. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. Come to Sabbath school at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Okay. Our next song we are going to sing is the B I B L E. That's the book for me. Okay. The B I B L E. That's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. That book will never fail, never fail, never fail. That book will never fail. No, no, no. Okay, well, I know there are some persons who are looking for to this, at uh, this program for the first time. So you want to welcome me. Okay, you're going to say hello. Hello, 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 hello. We are glad to meet you. We are glad to greet you. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, our next song we are going to sing is Six Days We Have for We Can't Play, the Seven Days for Jesus. Six days we have for work and play, the seventh day for Jesus. We rest upon his holy day, for it belongs to Jesus. Sunday, Monday for us, Tuesday, Wednesday for us, Thursday, Friday for us. Saturday is for Jesus. Yes, because Jesus said in Ten Commandments, Exodus 20, to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That is, do not forget to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right? Our next song will be Jesus Loves the Little Children, All the Children of the World. Okay? Now, I want to show you some children. This little girl, she's from India. She's an Indian. Jesus loves her. Then there's another girl here. She is from Japan. She's a Japanese. Jesus loves her. And then we have another girl here. She's a Burmese. She's from Burma. Jesus loves her. And then a little boy from Thailand. He's a Thai. Jesus loves him. Then there's a little girl from Spain. She's a Spaniard. Jesus loves her. And there's another girl here. She's from Indonesia. Jesus loves her. And there's a, he's from Yugoslavia. He's a Yugoslavia. Jesus loves, Jesus loves us all wherever we are. He loves all the children of the world. So let us sing that song. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Whether yellow, black, or white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And the next song we are going to sing with Jesus in the family. Happy, happy home. Okay? 
with Jesus in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Jesus in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. And who is this? Daddy. With Daddy in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Daddy in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. And who is this? With Mommy in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With Mommy in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. And who is this? Brother. With brother in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With brother in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. And who is this? Sister. With sister in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With sister in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. And who is this? Baby. With baby in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With baby in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. And if you have a dog or any kind of animal. Oh, yes. Okay. With doggy in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. With the doggy in the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Oh, yes. And the next song we want to sing is really beautiful animal. Yes, it's a rabbit. Right? We made a beautiful rabbit. I know. I know. God made the beautiful rabbit because he loves me so. Ladies, we made a beautiful birdies. I know. I know. God made the beautiful birdies because he loves me so. We made the beautiful duckies, I know, I know. God made the beautiful duckies because he loves me so. We made the beautiful kitties, I know, I know. God made the beautiful kitties because he loves me so. We made the beautiful doggies, I know, I know. God made the beautiful doggies because he loves me so. Jesus has angels that take care of us, protect us from dangers and all kind of things in, in whatever we do. So let us sing about that one. Jesus sends the angels, angels, angels. Jesus sends the angels to watch me when I'm playing. Jesus sends the angels, the angels, the angels. Jesus sends the angels to watch me when I'm working. Jesus sends the angels, the angels, the angels. Jesus sends the angels to watch me when I'm crying. Jesus sends the angels, the angels, the angels. Jesus sends the angels to watch me when I'm praying. Jesus sends the angels, the angels, the angels. Jesus sends the angels to watch me when I'm sleeping. The next song we are going to sing, when we are the children, but the bones stay small. That's good, huh? We are little children, but we won't stay small. Every day we are growing, growing big and tall. Growing, 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 growing big and tall. Growing up for Jesus, for he loves us all. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. But it's it. 
Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me sat upon his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the older folks. Je Jesus loves the older folks like you, you, you. Jesus loves the older folks like you, you, you. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul.